Hello, welcome to this FL Studio tutorial. Let's begin by opening FL Studio. I am using FL Studio 21, but this will work for pretty much any version since 12. So we're just gonna start out very simple. First thing you wanna do is make sure that you can hear whatever's coming out of FL Studio. And that's going to depend on your audio device that you're using. So if you go up to options, click on audio settings, and you can see here, it's set to primary sound driver right now. This is the default, kind of the default device. It's just going through my computer, basically. And this is fine. This is what is gonna work for me for this video. If I was recording through, let's say an audio interface, such as the Focusrite that I have right here, then I'd wanna click on this, and then I can have all the inputs from the Focusrite go into FL Studio. So I'll record everything that's plugged into that interface. But for now, we're just gonna stick with primary sound driver. That's gonna be fine for us. If you notice that you can't hear um, any sound coming from FL Studio, just go to the audio settings here, um, try some of these different ones and see what works. Okay, so let's say you just recorded something on let's say you recorded something on your phone or a laptop and you want to import that audio file into FL Studio. To do that, we're gonna go up to this button here, which is the mixer. It's the two little slider lines. And then we're just gonna pick an empty channel here. So we got, you can see it says insert one, insert two. These are all empty mixer channels that we can add things to. So we're just gonna click on insert one so it's highlighted green. And then we're gonna go over where it'll say mixer insert one here. And all of these empty slots are where we can put different effects. We can add audio files, uh, which is what we're going to do now. We're gonna click on slot one and then hover over select and you'll see it's going to list all of the different plugins. And this is going to be different depending on which version of FL Studio you have. Um, I have the all plugins edition, so it's going to show everything for me. But the one we are going to be using today is Edison. That's at the top here. I'm pretty sure it comes with every version of FL Studio. So we're just going to click on that. So you shouldn't have to worry about it. All right, so we got Edison open. You can see that in our slot one, it says Edison here. So that's what we have as a plugin in that slot. Now in Edison, we're gonna click on this little save icon here. And then we're gonna click load sample. Okay, and then this is gonna open up your file explorer. So now you're gonna go to wherever your audio file is so I got a bunch here. We can just do this one. It's fine. So you just click on the audio file you want to import. Okay, here it is. You can see it in its waveform. It'll show the sample rate. And then you can do a lot of stuff in Edison. If so, um, a helpful trick is if your mouse is hovering over something, like see how I'm hovered over this little undo arrow. And then if you look in the upper left corner, of the screen under file and edit um, right up here. See how this is, this text is changing. That text will change based on what you're hovering over and it will tell you what each button does. So you can see it says undo, undo history, claw machine, normalize, trim side noise. So all, so that's a useful trick to know is that you can go and look at the upper left corner when you're hovering over something, it'll tell you what it is. The one we want to use is all the way on the end over here. This is send to playlist as audio clip. We're gonna click on that. And then you can see that we have our audio file in our playlist here. And it's underneath track one, perfect. You can click and hold this and then slide it to zoom in and out. And here we can see our whole file and you have your slider here. So this is where you can choose where you want to start playback. You just slide that across the top. You probably saw when I clicked here that all these, like our mixer and our 
um, channel router got uh, disappeared. If we click these buttons up here, this is going to bring back all of those. So I click this one. It's going to show me pretty much all the windows that are open. This will bring and it'll bring me back here to our main timeline. Here is our piano roll. That's for MIDI. We have our channel rack mixer. Um, this is our plugin picker, which is not open right now. Okay. All right, so that's how you get back to those. Yeah, I can open Mixer. We can open Edison here by double click, by just clicking on Edison in the Mixer. If you ever need to get back to that, you can adjust these windows here, the size of them. Let's just drag this all, to, all the way back to the beginning, or we can press stop. If you press stop up here, it'll bring it all the way back. And then we'll just hit play and see if this works. Oh, didn't have my audio turned on. Hold up. Recording now. Okay, we're good. There we are. So now we have the audio coming in. It'll show the levels here. All right. So that's basically how you import a audio file into FL Studio and play it back. Um, the next video will probably look at adding more instruments, software instruments, um, recording into FL Studio directly using a microphone. We'll look at that, but I think this will be good for the first video. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed and got something out of it.